Right. Everyone seems to be buying stuff online these days, but can cities tax those sales? Elected officials in St. Charles think they can, and soon voters will decide. John Kipper is live on Main Street in St. Charles with the effort some say will level the playing field. John? Yeah, Corey, if you walk into any of these businesses on Main Street, St. Charles, you're going to be paying a 2% sales tax. But so many people are buying online these days, and if you do buy online, and have a St. Charles address, you're likely not to pay that online sales tax. That fact doesn't exactly sit right with business owners. People, they, they come in and they immediately see Spider-Man. Comic Book Relief recently expanded into a different, bigger building in St. Charles. Owner Mike Hetzler says people enjoy the experience of sifting through comics. You get the smell of comics, you get the you know, the atmosphere of the comics. That he is forced to charge a city sales tax, whereas if you buy the exact same comics online, no local sales tax is charged. He wants to see that law change. It levels it so that, you know, everybody's still getting charged tax. If you come in the store, you get charged tax. And so a lot of people gear towards the Amazon and say, well, we can avoid the tax. Voters in St. Charles will decide in April on whether to charge the city's 2% sales tax on online and out of state purchases. This is not an additional tax. That's city administrator Lawrence Dabrowski. He says that could get the growing city another two to four million dollars a year. Inflation's going up, those costs are going up, but our revenues aren't keeping pace. Dabrowski says due to the increase of online shopping, their local sales tax has slowly eroded. He says they need that money using it to hire more police officers, firefighters, and to keep the ones they have. If you generate a million dollars, that puts 10 more police officers on, on, uh, on the ground. So if passed, the city gets extra money for public safety, and it evens out the taxes on small business owners like Hetzler. If it kind of keeps, maybe keeps the people in St. Charles buying from St. Charles businesses. Now, Mayor Dan Bordmeyer of St. Charles said at the city council meeting tonight that he's actually more concerned with big companies spending millions of dollars online instead of right here in St. Charles. Reporting on Main Street, John Kepper, News 4.